Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Terminatus with the Serastus Knight and it's the uh, Acheron version of it which is the one with the big chainsaw and the even bigger flamer. So I'm painting this one blue, uh, so I kick off with um, Vallejo Model Air uh, French Blue, which I think is a, a really nice base. And uh, I've primed it with the Pound Shop um, primer uh, which I reviewed in a pocket money versus professional tools video so if anyone wanted to know if it worked here's your answer and uh, basically I'm just using the old uh, turntable there to, to make sure I get all the angles and make sure you get underneath uh, as well and then I went on to this um, ultramarines blue and I was just picking out the panels basically uh, just leaving the shadows in the sort of recesses and I know it seems quite you know garish in this uh, this sense uh, but it does get dulled down quite a bit later on so the next thing I want to do is I want to put a design on it and um, I think one of the things I like to do is uh, use masks to be able to get the effect that I want and this one uh, I want it to be a checkerboard pattern um, so I cover half and then do uh, one centimeter squares uh, in that pattern and cover it with white I think the play between white and blue uh, looks looks really really well done uh, when it's all nice and chipped and everything so this is what it looks like and this is me just uh, taking the, the individual masking bits off and obviously because it's a curve uh, there's a, a narrowing bit at the bottom but um, don't worry about that it looks absolutely great so after that uh, it's a case of right you've got some beautiful white um, squares so you need to ding them up a little bit so I've just basically scratched and this is me applying some scratching there and you know some some chips out of that um, pristine white and that really makes a big big difference um, what I do now is I go and get some uh, sort of uh, silver paint and then pick out some of the um, the sort of edges with um, the sponge chipping method and then I put on some some mud and uh, I put on some uh, rust streaks and just basically making it look like it's uh, it's doing a shift um, on the battlefield. So I decided to do the uh, pauldrons um, and a, a similar thing but I wanted them to be slightly different so I used green and white and I think it's just a nice accent to it. Um, if I did it again I might not do it but um, I, I'm quite happy with it, it still looks alright. One of the things that's very difficult to see is the fact that I actually did two or three different colours of green there to give that the, the sort of darker towards the trim and lighter towards the sort of bulbous bit in the middle, um, which is very difficult to pick out on this camera, but um, trust me, it's there. Uh, and this is really kind of getting towards the end. Um, I realised that I hadn't done the helmet. I thought, well, if I'm going to do the checkerboard design, I might as well run with it. Uh, but unfortunately, obviously, the big squares were too big, so I had to use tiny ones. And they were the very devil themselves to get that right. Um, and basically, I'm just kind of doing the things that I like to do. I did a sort of engine glow. Um, I, I've, I've cut this out because I'm sure you've seen me do this a hundred times already. And um, yeah, it's pretty much ready for a final assembly at this point. Oh, and it falls over nicely. Um, it is quite a, an awesome model and it sits very, very high up. So its centre of gravity is... Um, is all over the place uh, to be honest but that's uh, that's what it looks like when it's finished as I say I'm really really pleased with it um, is it a known house nope did I make it up yep um, and that's that's kind of what I do um, I don't you know, I don't really particularly follow the fluff or whatever but this one was an interesting challenge I wanted to paint something that would be um, you know, sellable. Uh, I guess you know I've got I've got bills to pay like everybody else, so um, I'm going to put this one up for sale. Uh, I really enjoy painting it. I think it looks pretty decent, if I'm honest. I'm quite chuffed with this one. Um, so yeah, uh, it's looking for a new home. So if anyone is interested, uh, please get in touch, and uh, you can have it. An awful lot of detail in this. Um, all the pipework inside, even behind all the armor panels, is all done. The um, hydraulic parts are all done, and there's um, you know the the red light coming out the crew hatch at the top, um, just the exhaust glows, the fuel canisters for the flamer, 
I, I mix some tin bits with some green there to give it a sort of just a different look because uh, there's an awful lot of metal in this model um, and I think that turned out quite well and I used my magic heat gun to bend the fuel lines to the flamer because they weren't going to fit at all um, normally so yeah just really like it I think it, it it looks nice and worn without looking silly um, but also it looks nice and um, like someone's got a bit of pride in it uh, and I know these things are ultra rare in the in the grim dark so uh, it's only only right that they'd be looked after so um, I've got another two nights to make um, and probably they'll end up going for sale as well so if anyone's interested let me know but in the meantime if I can answer any questions uh, if you would like to like um, the video that would make me feel great and if you'd like to comment and subscribe that would be fantastic we're almost at 2000 subs now so uh, we've got something special planned for the end of that as well so if you want to get involved oh hey there we go get involved thanks very much guys cheers bye bye